As teachers, PTA leaders, or school principals, we know that we need to communicate with parents. When parents are informed and engaged, everybody benefits. We get the support we need in the classroom or at the school. Kids get better grades and have higher confidence. The community gets stronger. Yet all too often, we see educators and parent group leaders make crucial mistakes in communicating with parents. Here are 10 of the most common mistakes we see. Number one, communicating only when you need something. If parents only hear from their kid's teacher when she needs them to bring school supplies or to volunteer, or from their PTA leader only when the next school fundraiser is about to start, they feel used. Yes, volunteering and fundraising are important, but parents want to know about other things too. Classroom updates, photos of their kids from a recent field trip, school concerts and sports events, PTA programs and more. Sharing this information will give everyone a deeper connection to the school. And that deeper connection will allow you to raise more money when you organize your next fundraiser and get more volunteers when you need them. Number two, communicating too much. If you find yourself hitting the send button several times a day, you are communicating too much. Few parents enjoy receiving five emails per day from their teacher or PTA leader. Like the boy who cried wolf too many times, you'll find yourself not being able to reach people when you really need them. They'll start tuning out your messages. If you have a lot to say, combine your requests or updates into a single email or newsletter. Parent portal platforms such as Simply Circle allow you to consolidate all your communication into a single daily digest. It reduces information overload and gives you more parent engagement. Number three, communicating at inconsistent frequency. One week, you are sending many emails per day. Then your members don't hear from you for a month. Unless there is a good reason for your silence, like a long school holiday, you should pick your communication frequency, whether it's daily, weekly or monthly, and stick with it. A good rule of thumb to keep in mind is this. The larger the group, the less the ideal frequency of communication. So daily updates may be appropriate for a kindergarten classroom, while weekly updates may be appropriate for a large PTA. When you communicate regularly and consistently, parents are conditioned to expect your communication on a particular day and time and are more likely to open your emails. That translates into higher parent engagement for you. Number four, not being clear about what's most important. When you put your most important request at the bottom of a four page long newsletter, you're burying the lead. Do you really expect parents to read all four pages and then respond to your call for classroom volunteers or for PTA committee chair nominations? Instead, put your main request at the beginning. It should appear both in the subject line and at the top of your email or newsletter. Even if parents are quickly scanning their emails, they won't miss the main point or the main request. Number five making it difficult to take action. The whole point of communication is to drive parent engagement, right? So make it as easy as possible for members to engage. If you are asking them to volunteer, let them sign up with one click. Don't send them to a paper sign up at the school office or to a spreadsheet that half of the school cannot open. Parent portal platforms such as Simply Circle integrate online signups, event RSVPs, and post commenting. 
When you make it really simple for people to volunteer, many more of them will do it. Number six, starting a reply all email mess. This one is a personal pet peeve of mine. I hate getting emails that ask people to bring food to an upcoming school event where everyone is on the to line. Within minutes, my inbox is flooded with reply all responses. I will bring watermelons. I won't be attending. What kind of cheese should I bring? Instead, use a platform like Simply Circle. It allows people to easily sign up to bring items or to volunteer without the reply all mess. If people are commenting on your posts, all the comments are summarized in one convenient daily digest. If you must communicate by regular email, then at least put everyone's email addresses on the BCC line. This way, when people reply, the reply goes just to the sender and not to everyone on the list. Number seven, not respecting people's privacy. There is another reason why you should put everyone on the BCC line in your email communication. It signals that you respect their privacy. People are rightly paranoid about their privacy. So either move everyone to the BCC line or use a service like Simply Circle. It hides email addresses while still allowing everyone to communicate. Number eight, not providing easy opt-out or unsubscribe options. In 2003, Congress passed a law called Can Spam. The law requires senders of commercial messages to let recipients unsubscribe from unwanted emails. While classrooms, schools, and PTAs are not commercial entities that are bound by Can Spam law, it's still a good idea to let people opt out. Here is why. If you irritate people with frequent emails, and don't let them get off of your mailing list, they will mark your email as spam. Too many spam complaints will ruin your email deliverability. That means that all your emails will start landing in people's spam folders. Needless to say, not being able to reach parents is bad for business. So let people unsubscribe if they want to. Number nine making mistakes in your communication. Spelling or grammatical errors make communication look unprofessional. Fortunately, these errors are easy to avoid. Just run a spelling and grammar check before sending anything out. Also, be sure to check your email for accuracy and completeness. You don't want to have to contact a thousand people with an oops, I got the date wrong email. Remember, once you hit that send button, there is no way to unring that bell. The email is out. Number 10, leaving some people out. Make sure your communications include everyone. For example, PTA leaders should not limit their updates to just paying PTA members. Everybody needs to be informed about school and PTA events. In fact, if you keep all parents in the loop and make them feel like part of the community, they might decide to join your PTA or to volunteer more at your school. So make sure to include everyone in your communication. Now that you know the top 10 communication mistakes, we want to tell you about an effective and affordable tool that you can use for parent communication. It's called Simply Circle. Simply Circle is a private, secure, and easy to use parent communication portal for your classroom, PTA, or the entire school. Parents can access all the information on a computer, tablet, or mobile phone using the free mobile apps. They also get email notifications about new content that you shared and reminders about upcoming events and deadlines. You can use Simply Circle 
to post updates and announcements, share photos and documents, invite parents to school events, organize parent-teacher conferences, ask for volunteers, or request payments. If you want, you can make your circle interactive, which lets parents comment on your posts and send private messages to you and to each other. With Simply Circle's guest feature, you can even reach parents who have not yet accepted your circle invitation. This way, nobody misses out. Getting started on Simply Circle is as easy as one, two, three. One, you create a circle. Two, you invite parents to your circle. Three, you post content to your circle. It's that simple. You can sign up for a free basic plan and use it for as long as you want. Or you can try one of our affordable premium plans with a free 30-day trial. See how easy it is to engage parents. Give Simply Circle a try today. Visit www.simplycircle.com. Happy communicating from all of us at Simply Circle.